Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. I travel about 300 days a year, 320 days a year, and I spend most of my time in my car. I like to drive everywhere. I don't like to wait around in airports. A lot of people ask me about eating on the road when I travel, if it's easy to get raw food. Pretty much I can get raw food anywhere in the country. Uh, there's health food stores in all the major cities, and if I'm not in a major city, I'm usually in the middle of some farm somewhere, and then I just have to look down at my feet and there's some raw food. Uh, I recommend everybody once in your life to try a fresh durian. It is a life-changing experience, and that's why I am the Durian King. The durian is quite, uh, it's an exotic fruit from Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really uh, different than most things you would see today. That's why I yeah. chose it to be here. And uh, a lot of people say, oh, you know, it looks terrible, it looks like chicken, I wouldn't eat that. But then they go and eat chicken. You know, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, so. yeah that's true. Uh, you All right, everybody, we're going to the Asian market. We're going to get some durians and coconuts now. All right, we got some durian here. We got a nice cut down the middle here. It's a good one. All right. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Look at that. All right. Kind of makes you want to jump right in. And uh, you're looking for a sweet smell. If they don't smell sweet, they're not good. No, that's good. Yeah, so you want also the color like this, nice golden color. Three square meals a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What more can you ask for? Uh, now we're going to take uh, a durian here. We're going to open up this durian. It's thawed out, so right here it just cracks right open. You don't need a knife or anything to open this. So, let's open that up. There we go. Nice fresh durian. So the taste is here. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. This fruit is possible. Everybody should taste durian. Well, we're here today. We're going to a Safeway supermarket and we're, we're just going to go in there and compare the different types of foods they have. I've noticed from going in foods over the years that the baby food that they use today on the market is very similar to the pet food. The ingredients are almost identical. Actually, the pet food is actually healthier. So we're going to go inside right now. We're going to take a look and just read the actual ingredients of what we'll find. So follow me and let's go. This is supposed to be healthy baby food, Fruit Melody. And when we look at the ingredients, we have uh, mango concentrate, pineapple juice concentrate, uh, absorbic acid, sugar, cornstarch, lime juice, citric acid, and absorbic acid. There's absolutely not one fresh fruit in this bottle of, of Fruit Melody baby food. This is a great flavor for babies. Beef and gravy. Wonderful. We were just in a baby aisle and now we're in the pet food aisle. And as we're looking at the different pet foods, the ingredients are actually almost similar to the baby food. Uh, a little healthier though. Here we have a, a, a salmon and shrimp dinner for cats. A salmon, meat byproducts, liver, and ocean fish, shrimp, gear gum, and salt. Just a little healthier than the baby food. Uh, by the way, anyone who has any pets out there, they use a lot of uh, cats and dogs uh, that they use from the pound and they put them in here. Uh, here we have sliced beef and gravy. It's the best thing for your wheatgrass. As I was saying, greens are so important. Well, this is one of the best greens there is. You can buy it like this or you can even grow it in your own house. Uh, however you get it, just get it. And you'll see a big difference in your health. Uh, it doesn't taste that great, Thank but it sure does We're going to have a great time tonight. Can everyone hear me in the back? If you said no, you can hear me, so that's not going to work. Okay, great. Well, tonight we're going to cover the information that's the latest topic of my newest book called The Formula for Health. But before I do that, I want to get to know everyone in the room and I want everyone to know me, who I am, and why I'm doing what I'm doing. How many people here have heard me speak before? Great, not too many of you, so my jokes will be nice and fresh. 
<laughs> Wonderful. We're going to have a fun time. Now, before I get started, I can start off by saying I am from New York, if you can have guessed it already. <laughs> Is there anyone here from New York? Great, we have a translator in the room. <laughs> so, how many people here are eating a raw food diet? And I don't mean just like tonight. Okay. How many people here are eating a diet that's not necessarily all raw, but has a lot of fruits and vegetables in it? Wonderful, wonderful. How many people here are eating a, ve a vegan diet? A vegan diet. No, no animals or any animal products. Okay, wonderful. How many people here are eating a lacto-vegetarian diet? Like a fake vegetarian. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's just a How many people don't want to raise your hand? Raise your hand. All right. How many people here just came from McDonald's? I just did. I probably visit more McDonald's than anyone else in this room. I love McDonald's. Because when you travel as much as I travel and you need a bathroom, it's a great place to go. The reason why it's so great is it's always available and they never kick you out. The reason why it's always available is because everyone's eating that food is constipated, so they're not using the bathroom. One of the best-selling books out now I brought with me, and unfortunately it's not a raw food recipe book, but I just want to show you how crazy and, and far we've gotten away from doing things the way we should be doing. This is one of the best-selling raw food recipe books on the market right now. Actually, not raw food, uh, just a recipe book in general. This is called the Twinkie Cookbook. And when you look at the recipes in here, it's no wonder why people are sick today. And Twinkie, do you know you can take a Twinkie and have it in this wrapper from 15 to 20 years ago and it'll still be the same exact way today? Think about if it's in your body. We have uh, these great delicious recipes. I used to always, here's Twinkie Sushi. <laughs> Twinkie Sushi, uh, but wait, it gets better. Uh, we have uh, the Twinkie Pancakes. Twinkie Pancakes. I'm a raw food man. I eat lots of greens. Fruits are part of my plan. Because it nourishes and cleans. Durian King visits Burger King. Okay. Hi, uh, I'm really, really hungry, uh, and I'm visiting. I'm, wis I'm visiting here from another state. Uh, do I have any concern to be concerned about the, the mad cows? Hello. I'll have a Big Mac. And a Biggie Fries. And a Jumbo Jet. What kind of vegetarian meals do you have? Uh, we don't have any vegetarian meals, really. None at all? Alright, now we're going to Kentucky Fried Chicken and Taco Bell. We're going to visit the Colonel. Thank you for choosing Kevin from KFC Taco Bell. This is Amber. I'm ready to take your order. Hi, Amber. How are you doing today? Okay, Amber, in the Taco Bell, do you have any vegetarian dishes? We have a seven layer burrito. Is that a vegetarian dish? It is, depending upon how big of a vegetarian you are. Do you eat dairy products? Uh, like the cheese and sour cream? I don't eat dairy products, but I'm a small vegetarian. I only, I only weigh 140 pounds. <laughs> Thank you for coming. We're going to have a great time tonight. Raw life, brighten up your life.